Top of the morning to you, wig lovers! I'm here with my nondescript uh, latte beverage here to bring you The Camera Ready by Raquel Welch in the luscious color R28S Plus, also known as Glazed Fire. So I think before I get too far ahead of myself, I want to talk about um, a couple things that might be throwing you off about this wig. Number one, this one has a 100% hand-tied lace front. And so you wouldn't be able to tell because when you get it out of the box, the, the whole front of it just kind of wants to go. It also has a dedicated left-hand side monofilament part, um, which is actually very well done. And the issue is, is because when you get it out of the box, it's got this part, it's got this lace front, the hair just kind of goes like that. But I'm going to show you throughout the course of this video that it can be styled off the face very beautifully. And this wig has a lot of very beautiful mid-length, kind of casually curly potential. So let's talk about the color for a moment. Anytime you see a 28, anything in a color code, that's kind of indicative that this is like what they consider an Irish red. Um, I really love reds and that's why I'm kind of happy to be bringing you all these Raquel Welch reviews as of late because they have some very gorgeous red shades. And of course, because it's Raquel Welch's signature line, of course she's gonna have some very luscious red shades. That's a real treat for us red haired or you know, want to be red haired wig lovers, you know, it's really hard to find truly saturated, intense reds. And this glazed fire, it definitely fits that bill. Now, anytime you see that 28, like I said before, it's an Irish red, but what the heck does that even mean? Well, it means that it's got a combination of very bold reds kind of blended together to make the overall impression that this is an intense gingery auburn. Um, so we've got a little bit of like a dark rust kind of blonde color in here. That's really what makes it because it's got the dark auburn on top of like a really fiery red color. And then you've got that sort of dark rust butterscotch color in here, as you can see towards the front. And what that does is that really lifts this up and makes it so it's not such a dark red color. It's got a lot of different tones and highlights. It's very well blended. And even though you've got that contrast going on between the base shade and all these highlights, it's not like, ooh, crazy looking. Um, it just enhances the overall appearance of the red and makes it look that much more luscious. It's just a really beautiful, intense, fiery, Irish, coppery red. So let's talk some specs, shall we? The front on this, as you can probably tell, is quite long and it's made to be swept off to the side just like it is in the product photo. It's 6.75 inches. The crown down is 9 inches. The sides are 9.5, but that is just the topmost layer as you can see here. It's actually heavily layered and it does fall right around mid-clavicle, so that's right around 12 inches or so. And then uh, the nape is 10.5 inches, so it's longer in the back, which I'll show you in just a second. The weight on this is 3.75 ounces, which is a nice weight. I mean, it's really appropriate for a wig of this material. This is a regular traditional Canaclon synthetic monocrylic fiber, AKA the kind of synthetic that you get in most synthetic wigs that are of this quality, which is quite high. Um, and that's all she wrote. I think this one's a great length. I think it's very flattering. And I hope that you'll feel the same way when I do my little 360. I think this one's really cute. I do, I think camera ready is very, very easy to wear. I think that she looks pretty nice right out of the box. I think that if you can style her a little bit, and especially if you can get these bangs to be a little less unruly, I think that that's gonna be really beneficial to you. Um, I recommend getting a little bit of synthetic safe styling spray while you're trying to train this wig, so that way you can really get those uh, bangs off the face a little bit more because I think that it looks a little bit more realistic and flattering that way um, whereas when the bangs are just kind of in the face like that it just uh, it just 
I don't know, it looks a little teeny bopper to me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let me go ahead and zoom in on this lace front for you. You can see my bio hair under there, so let me pull it up just a little bit. That's a pretty well done lace front. I mean, it's not a particularly dense lace front, as you can tell here. And there's that motto part. Very, very pretty color. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take camera ready off so I can show you what the cap construction looks like. Okay, so camera ready, as you can see here, has that lovely lace front leading into a monofilament left-hand side part. This whole area here has a little bit of permatease, but in camera ready, it's not like a crazy amount of permatease. It's basically just there to obscure the wefting. And then here, the sides have this lovely memory cap technology, which will stretch out as you wear it. And that really helps conform to the shape of your head this color is very similar to the Irish Spice color by the Noriko line. Um, the only real difference being that this has more of that medium fiery red color, whereas in the Noriko Irish Spice, it's a little bit more of that darker base auburn color. But it's a lovely blend of three different auburns, and you can see it really pronounced here in the front. You got that dark 33, you've got this, which is kind of like a uh, 29 or so, a very intense, fiery, medium red auburn. And then on top of that, you've got this dark rust, kind of butterscotchy color, but it, I'd say it's more of a dark rust than a, than a blonde. And then that's blended in specifically in the front and the top. Here's the back. You can see you get a little bit of that still, but it's more pronounced definitely towards the front. But because this is the S Plus, you get it a little bit all throughout as opposed to just on the top and in the front. I think this is a beautiful wig. Look at all that lovely layering. This has not been brushed or combed. I've just used my fingers a little bit to try to break up the curls a little bit, shake it out a little bit, and now I'm gonna plop it back on my head. <laughs> Make sure that ear tabs are even. Until next time, this has been Heather from SisterWigs.com bringing you ba -ba -ba -ba, the Camera Ready by Raquel Welch in the color R28S Plus, also known as Glazed Fire. It's beautiful Irish red. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous morning and enjoy your nondescript cup of java. And hopefully I'll see you again sometime. Bye-bye. Oh, P.S. Check out my website. Okay, thanks. <laughs> All right, bye.